Hi everyone, this is Lucas from Tech Power Math, and uh, today I am going to be showing you how to change your battery on your TI Inspire CX. Today I have a TI Inspire CX cast to demonstrate this with, but it would also work just as well with the non-cast edition. Um, reasons you may end up needing to change out the rechargeable battery on your cast. Um, you may decide you just want to take it out and plug it back in. Um, in some cases I've run into a situation where the Inspire is acting sort of glitchy and a factory reset doesn't do the trick, but um, I'm able to get it functioning normally again by just taking the battery out and then putting it back in. Um, in other cases, you may find that the calculator is charging, but the battery meter says that it's not charging, like it's stuck at 25%. I've encountered that a few times. And again, a factory reset or an operating system reinstall might solve that problem. But in other cases, I found that the best way to solve that issue is to actually take the battery out and then just put it back in. Or you may find that um, you, if you use your calculator a lot over the course of a year or so, uh, your battery is actually toast and you actually need to put a new one in there. And if that's the case, uh, of course, um, you wouldn't want to just plug the battery back in, but you need to get a new one. And I will have information uh, in the description box on how you can go about purchasing a new one um, when I'm done changing, showing you how to change out the battery. Um, quick disclaimer, I have to say I've done this probably a dozen times and I've never had any problems and I wouldn't expect you to have any problems, um, but there's always a bit of risk involved with the opening up the calculator and taking it apart. So just proceed with caution and realize you're proceeding uh, at your own risk. So with that said, uh, let's get started on opening up the Inspire and showing how you can change out that battery. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, flip your Inspire over and uh, you're going to need a set of mini screwdrivers because um, you've got to remove the screws on the back of the plate. Uh, the screws are uh, Phillips screws so you're going to want to use a Phillips screwdriver and once you've got those loosened up you may find that you need a flathead screwdriver to gently remove the back casing. And once you've got it open you'll see the battery there and uh, it is attached via cord and then you can just gently pull that out and uh, remove the battery and of course at this point you'd either change out the battery or uh, replace it with the same one you just had if all you were trying to do was uh, see if that would fix your problem and it just gently needs to snap back in there and as you're placing it in um, you do need to kind of guide the wire in under the tab that protects it before you put the casing back over the top once you've accomplished all that, screw the screws back in with your Phillips screwdriver. And you will see that this has the effect of uh, restarting your calculator. It will reboot your Inspire. And so you'll get a boot screen when you flip it back over and see what's going on. So again, you can see this is a pretty easy process. Normally goes off without a hitch. And uh, again, if you need a new battery, uh, there will be a link in the description box uh, with a little more information on where you can get a new battery for your Inspire. They're not expensive, and a lot of times it will solve your problem if you've got a battery that's not charging. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.